Hey, what's up guys? So before I start this video, I just want to thank you guys because we reached a thousand people. A thousand people click the little subscribe button and follow my um, content and the videos I make. So that's really cool. Thank you guys for that. Uh, really, um, uh, I really appreciate it. Um, because it's fun for me to do these things. It's fun for me to share what I know. And it's even better for me to see that some people actually enjoy and... Uh, have use from the things I show you guys so in this video um I just want to thank you about that before we start um, I might make us something like a special little edition or something but maybe not I'll see um, so in this video I am going to show you how you can um, use the coins that uh, you've collected I have a previous part one video to this this is the part two in part one I just show you how you collect and store the coins in a uh, event system it's really simple and useful so I suggest you watch that video well you have to watch that video to be able to continue in this one so basically you have zero coins you walk up to the vendor and this little thing pops up when you hit the trigger and then when you click on the hot dog icon nothing happens because it says that you need three gold click on it to buy because but we don't have three gold so we have to collect the gold when you walk out it disappears so let's see one two and three so we have the necessary gold and now we walk into it again click on it sorry um, it's kind of buggy because oh here it is. It's kind of buggy because the first person uh, controller uh, that Unity standard assets have is um, the mouse cruiser is uh, kind of bugged out. When you escape, it doesn't really recognize uh, that it's uh, on this in the scene. So when you click on like GUI elements, as you can see, it just disappears. It doesn't sometimes register that you clicked on a GUI because we're using on click to spawn the hot dog. So basically, when you have um, three gold, you spawn the hot dog. It's over here, and uh, it pops up again when you're in the trigger, but since we don't have enough gold, we can't buy it. Um, it's pretty simple. There's only one script, a vendor script. I'm just going to explain it right now. So here we have uh, a currency script. So this is where we take the reference of the currency script, to where we actually, um, let me find it. Um, it's in the other video, so if you don't have the script, yeah, you can download it off my GitHub. The vendor script will be available on GitHub as well. So this is the currency script. It just, um, I guess, um, it holds the integer amount. Yes. So um, basically, here we, this is what we have. Um, so we have a public game object vendor UI, which is the UI that we um, use to display when you like click on the hot dog when you buy it. Public game object object to create. This is the actual object that you create when you buy it. Public transform position to create. So this is the position where we can create it. Now I'm just gonna I'm showing you the base layout on how you implement vendor a vendor system and how to buy like deplete the amount of gold that you've collected earlier. And the thing that happens when you buy something it can be a numerous amount of things. I'll I'm showing you how you can click on items to buy them. You can add more items. You can for example buy items that get uh, attached to your player character. So for example you can buy a weapon and then you can like see it in your hands or whatever and uh, now we have a public integer cost which is the amount that the item costs um, so avoid start so in the start function we find a game object uh, find with tag game controller so basically you have to have a game controller that uh, uh, event system that's called uh, that's tagged game controller this I've stated in the previous video as well but if you don't have it just do that basically it's just a empty game object where that I that's tagged game controller and where I stole the store the currency script um, so we get the component, we get the currency component of it. So on trigger enter. Um, now, if you're not using the Unity standard assets like first person controller, um, this might be easier for you because it won't be as buggy with the cruiser. But basically, because you're not using it, if your cruiser is not visible, um, this makes it visible. So vendor.ui set active true. This uh, makes the vendor UI appear and the cruiser.visible true. Because, so you can click on the UI to actually buy items. This does the opposite. When you exit the trigger, it makes the UI disappear and it makes the cruiser um, um, unseen. And this is the public void buy item. So this checks if this if the um, currency if you have enough uh, gold to buy it. So if the script dot gold. So if your currency number so currency gold integer is bigger than the cost or equals, it's gonna take away deplete the cost from the uh, script dot gold. 
and it's going to instantiate object to create position dot create position position dot create rotation so it's going to instantiate it at the position that you state that you apply from the inspector i'm going to show you how this works so basically i've created this i put this like guy over here for just show i mean you, you can get it off a website um i've uh, I've put the link to the, this, the website where I get these uh, like uh, video game models that are low poly and for the PlayStation 2 in the comments on uh, one of my videos or two but uh, I guess I'll put it in the description this time but um, they're not rigged or anything so if you want to use them for characters you're gonna have to rig them yourself but all of them are copyrighted since they were already in published video games so I really do not recommend using them as that maybe as like a hobby or um, I guess a uh, public sort of project nothing that creates money for you um, all right so um, we have a um, we have the vendor um, now here um, as you can see this vendor thing it's a, like a little box I've ticked off the mesh render so you can't see it I it has a box lighter which is the actual trigger what we and when we walk into it it actually triggers the UI showing and the cruiser disappearing so you add the vendor script to that uh, to vendor UI I'll show you what this is the object to create is the hot dog you just make a prefab and you attach the prefab uh, to that uh, the thing you want to create and the position to create you just create a empty game object in your scene so here create empty and place it wherever you want it to appear and the cost is the cost that you want it to cost simple right um, now the vendor this thing is the actual UI so this is where uh, the actual functionality of buying the item comes from so I've created an empty game object I've called it vendor and then I've created um, a UI I've created a text and I've created a, let me show you real quick so I've, I've created this uh, text and I have uh, created a button so let me just show you how this looks uh, I'll make it up here real quick oh we need a yes okay so um, the text is just the thing that says how much it buys and how much it costs and when you click on it you buy it and the hot dog is the actual item that you click and something happens when you click it so uh, basically uh, to make this work you create a button and as you can see when you create the button it does not look anything like this it, are, it has text and everything so because we don't need text um, you can just delete the text over here now you only have like this thing over here now um, when you go to button you have this source image you have this target graphic you have everything so in this UI sprite thing you click on it to change it and uh, I have this hot dog thing which I click on it and it creates the hot dog this normal color highlighted color it basically it's basically um, responsible for changing the color when you highlight it when you click on it etc um, you can play around with these settings but it doesn't matter the real important thing is over here on click so uh, let me show you what happens so basically here um, we have to say this is a function on click so when it's on when it get the button when it gets clicked it's gonna call a function so when you click plus it's gonna say none object runtime only etc so here non ob none object here you have to put the object where the f uh, the script is located that has the function that you want to play so in this case the function that we've created is called buy item we want the buy item function to be able to play it, but because the buy item is in the vendor script and the vendor script is on the um uh where is it on the vendor um where it is here it's over here on the vendor cube we have to put the vendor cube or trigger however you want to call it over here so you just drag the vent vendor thing over here and now it's going to say no function when you click on it you're going to have all of these little things so basically um you just click vendor because this is all of the um components that the object has but since we the the function that we need is in the vendor script we're gonna go ahead access the vendor one bool enabled you're gonna find it over here you're gonna find buy item and click on it and after that when you start the game and when you click this thing it's gonna appear and everything's gonna be done so I just instead of like uh, because there are two things that need to be enabled the hot dog text and the hot dog uh, the actual button that you click on I've created an empty game object and just stored it inside so when you um, 
so when you have to assign the thing that you want to um, make appear and disappear I just put the vendor thing over here and then you do the same with the button that I just showed you and uh, I think that's it um, I've told you everything how you do it it's pretty oh I left it enabled yeah and make sure to have it disabled at the start at uh, runtime because you don't want it to appear so I've shown you everything it's pretty simple um, pretty useful actually um, I'm thinking about because we reached a thousand subs um, I'm thinking about creating an actual how to make a video game series making it a adventure game a puzzle game or whatever I'll be still thinking about it I might make a short video where I give you guys a poll and you can vote on what game genre you want me to make a how-to tutorial from start to finish uncut everything to the modeling to everything basically how I would go about making my game and showing you guys so you can follow up and make your own game it's a pretty neat project but it's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of effort so I need to see a lot of people to be willing to willing or down for it so I just don't do it like um, for nobody and uh, yeah so that's all I wanted to say and all I wanted to show thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you next time bye